What's up y'all, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm be showing you how to clear the oil light off your dash, as well as change the oil in your truck. Maybe it's just somebody who don't know or somebody who needs help, this video is for you. So you wanna get in, make sure all your doors are shut, take your key, turn it to the on position, and hit the gas pedal three times. Oil lights clear. Half inch socket or wrench and then just the oil filter pliers. This is the oil I run. I run Mobile One full synthetic 5W20. For the oil filter, I use a K&N and it's HP 2011. Typically you gotta buy the big jug and a small one. It takes about six quarts. So crawling under the truck, you can see this bolt right here. And it's for the oil pan. That's the one right there that you want to undo. Alrighty, tidy, lefty, loosey. And just let it drain. Crawling under the front of the truck, there's the oil filter. I marred it up a little bit. <laughs> Gotta turn it that way. Come on. Comes the oil. Try to keep it upright as possible because it's filled with oil. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some cleaner on the rag. I'm gonna wipe around all that and make sure there's no old rubber left from the previous filter. I sprayed some cleaner on the shop town and wipe it and you see how clean it is. So we're good to put the next filter on. Before we do that though, I like to find some old oil, wipe it on the gasket and all. Just make sure it's clean oil on there. do is just snug it up. One thing I like to do is double check, make sure the oil plug's in there, drain plug. And I also like to double check and make sure my filter's on there good. Cause you really don't want to start adding oil and just leak it all out. You can see filters in there, wiped around it, make sure if it does start leaking or something, we'll know. Always go back through, clean everything. Cause once it's clean, if it starts leaking, you can tell it's leaking, it's fresh fluid on there. So opening the hood, your oil fill caps right here. Don't forget to put the cap back on. That's right where I like mine to be. Almost three quarter, a little bit below. Well, when I warm my truck up, I like it to be really close to three quarter if not almost full check and make sure you're leaking no fluids that's just leftover oil that i accidentally spilled i appreciate y'all watching thanks for the support hopefully somebody was able to learn something from this video or even take away a piece of it thank y'all for watching <laughs>